I'm Phil Sasso, CTO and co-founder of Market Protocol. And today we're going to be talking about our integration with Chainlink and some of the initial work that's been done there. All right, so hopefully you guys are able to see the uh, IDE that's up. Yep. All right, cool. I never know with Mac OS and switching to Parallels. All right, um, so we've been working on integrating Chainlink and to use their Oracle solution to provide data to our smart contracts in order to settle them to third-party data. Uh, this could be used for cross-chain assets, so we could do things like Bitcoin uh, or Monero, as well as for real-world assets like stocks, S&P 500, uh, as well as commodities. So the first iteration of our implementation is going to allow users to connect to essentially a REST API that returns a JSON object. And then using Chainlink, we can parse that JSON object to get the data back on chain. So just a brief information on our architecture. I won't go too much into the code here, but we have this factory and the factory helps people to deploy our market contracts. Um, it allows us to ensure that the contracts that get deployed are our code, so they haven't been manipulated in any way. And then they also add the address of the deployed contract to a whitelist, so we have this nice big registry of all of the contracts that have been deployed. So this new factory uh, called Market Contract Factory Chainlink is the implementation that now deploys the market contracts that are integrated with Chainlink solution. And by basically supplying a few pieces of information, we can deploy a contract now with their solution. So this Oracle query URL would be uh, a URL path for the data. So for example, if we were going to pull the price of Ethereum, if we were to create an Ethereum uh, contract to trade that was versus a USD stable coin, we could use this address here in the example docs uh, that pulls from Kraken. And then passing in a little bit more information to get to the exact data that we want. Um, this is basically looking at the results object, the pair that we're looking at, and then the closing price uh, is I believe what that their object returns. We can pass in the, the job IDs that are distinguished. And Thomas may be able to help a little bit on this, but my understanding is that it, we would set these job IDs off chain with nodes from uh, Chainlink that we are desired to get our data from. So they may vary by contract, uh, depending on those nodes that we've selected. Right. Cool, I'm glad I got that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so we pass all this information in, we create a new market contract uh, that then gets passed to the, the piece that interacts with our smart contracts and uh, Chainlink, which is this Oracle Hub Chainlink. And it requests this query with all the information that we've supplied to it. I'll just briefly go over that contract as well. So it creates a query with all the needed information to, for Chainlink and passes it to uh, their Oracle to then fill. We use their sleep adapter to allow us to request a query to be handed back to us on the expiration of the contract. And then we also set it up to allow inquiries from users. And this, con uh, this Oracle Hub also contains the link token. So our users don't have to actually spend link token in order to create a contract. Uh, we're going to supply this contract with enough link to support the needed requests. And then when we get the information back from the oracles, uh, we are able to then find our market contract and pass that information back with the price that they've returned. And that can either push the contract into settlement if it's past the expiration date or it's been traded outside of the bands uh, the price cap and price floor. So that's really the, the main pieces of integration here. I just really want to thank Thomas and the Chainlink team. They've been incredible, incredibly supportive and collaborative on integration and helping us to figure out best ways and best practices to implement this, as well as updating their code base to make our lives simpler. So uh, just a round of applause for, for that and that collaboration that's happened there. I really appreciate it. 
Woo woo. Yeah, so that's it. Is there any questions on any of that work? It looks great, Phil. Cool. Well, thank you guys.